Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA Chinatown Wars. Let's continue where we left off. Let's go see Zhao then. The hell is going on out here? Okay. The Phantom Menace? Ah, my little friend. Isn't it wonderful? While other triads grow in infamy, I grow in fame. Yeah, you're an idiot. Gangsters don't want fame. While they're wanted by the feds, I'm pursued only by the press, to whom I'm a civic benefactor. A man of outstanding skill and great spiritual power. A modern hero. At a time like this, you're courting publicity. I didn't ask for the burden of greatness, nor the paparazzi's prying cameras. Especially when it comes to picking up women, not that I need any help, of course. Okay. Now what I'll say about this is... What the... Oh. Paparazzi, um... Oh, they're getting away with the photo of Zhao? Oh. There we go. So what I was trying to say um, is that no gangster wants fame. Nobody wants that. Fame attracts attention. The more attention you, a gangster has on themselves, the more risk of something happening. You know, even other people going after him or, um, you know, the police, the feds. And um, uh, the thing about this is we actually had a celebrity gangster. Do you know who the last celebrity gangster that we had? Oh, great. Another one. Where is he? Get back here. The last celebrity gangster that we had was Al Capone. Al Capone in the 1920s in Chicago loved being a celebrity. He loved giving interviews. You know, he was constantly in the press. He liked that attention. Al Capone learned pretty quickly on that that was not a good idea. And the feds went after him. And they couldn't get him for all the murders. They couldn't get him for the bootlegging. And what they got him on was tax evasion. Wait here, Huang. Chun Chun Fong will be joining us. He's a very uptight man and not the swiftest walker. Ah, Chun Chun, climb, my friend. How are your he hemorrhoids today? What? Huang, let's go. Drive Zhao and, and Chun to the meeting in the triangle. The triangle is based on Times Square. You know, it's the, um, it's basically that place of all the big advertisements in New York. Also, from the- oh god, no, not on- Oh my- It looks like NPCs themselves can't drive. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, um, uh, what I was trying to say is that I'm getting very paranoid. Because, like I said, guys, I've never played this game before, so I don't know what's gonna happen. But, God, go away. Away, paparazzi. What I was, what I was thinking of is I think that there's a traitor. I think there's another traitor because that rat that you killed in the last part, I feel like there's more to this. Like, at this point, I feel like it could be Chan or Zhao. Um, oh great, Papa, paparazzo. Um, so I I think, I personally think like there's a traitor. I think it might be Zhao or Chan because Zhao is an opportunist, so it wouldn't surprise me if he'd try to betray Huang or, you know, he'd be giving information to the feds or something like that just to move up in the, in the uh, triads. You know, he has his competition arrested. You know, he can move up easily. And um, Chan, Chan could have ratted while he was in, in jail also because, you know, he's an idiot. He's very weak-minded. So there's, um, so I think there's a, definitely a possibility one of these guys is a traitor. Chao Chin is meeting us here. He's wanted for arson in 49 states. Oh, wow. That's a nice celebrity, right? Yeah. 
Or so he claims. I doubt he even knows where half of them are. So glad you could join us, Chow. Drive on, Huang. Drive everyone back to Zhao's. Okay. Huang, we must decide who are to be the powerful triad headmen once I'm the, the new boss. So it's time you left and let us get on with our discussion. Run along. You know, this this shows what a scumbag Zhao is. Like, you know, patronizing. Yep, exactly. That's what, um, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Let me see. Um, please do me a little favor and get the F out of here. Thank you. So the, the thing about that is that was incredibly, you know, shameful, shameful and rude and disrespectful. Like, just think about it, like, you know, Huang, Huang is the son of the triad boss that died. And literally, what's happening is that Huang has proven himself. He's proven how capable he is. Zhao still shows him no, little to no respect. And then Zhao, Zhao doesn't even say, you know, why don't you join us for the meeting and we'll discuss who the next triad leader is or something like that. Or Zhao could have at least said, you know what, Huang, when I become triad boss, you're going to be one of my top guys. Nothing like that. Nothing. So he's very, you know, he's, um, you know, I would, I, I might consider, you know, Zhao a psychopath. It's entirely possible. Um, he's very narcissistic. Um, Wade Heston, taking care of business. Huang, I hear those dangerous idiots at the FIB have a friendly voice giving them the inside track on your boss, making life awkward for all of you. Looks like, looks to me like the Wansu bosses plan to bring down the tribes begun. Put two and two together, Huang. The Wansu's bosses and the Fed's rats are the same guy. I've got a lead that's gonna, uh, deliver him to us. I remember, I need this big collar to clear my name with the IAD. So we're gonna do this my way. Come and see me in North Holland. Let's get back in business. Heston. Okay. see here. Let's stop at this dealer really quickly. Um, let me look at the tip-offs here. Um, some college punks are willing to pay big time for acid over here in Boulevard. Their money's good until Saturday, so where are you at, L? Okay. Okay, I think I could actually do, do something about that. Um... Yeah, I do have an idea for that. A grenade? In the dumpster? Okay. Well, I'll take it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this guy always sells a ton of acid. Okay. Oh, it's a bust. Oh, great. I gotta, I gotta look for the camera around here, because I go to that dealer a lot for his acid. And um, what we do is we take all that acid, and we just take it right up to Bohan, right up there. And we just uh, offload that just for a really quick buck. Yeah, paid the five dollar toll charge. We're getting chased by the cops. Wonderful, right? Get out of that car. This car is pretty much done. Oh God.
You know, I'm really hoping, I hope that GTA 6, since it's probably, probably gonna be in Vice City, um, I really hope that it's, um, that we, we see some kind of drug dealing activity in that one, because, you know, Vice City is the city of drugs in the GTA world. And, um, I really hope, would like to see something, like, some kind of roleplay in the online, like, imagine, like, you know, you sell, like, to, like, other players and stuff like that, and there's, like, an actual economy between players in the world, and, like, there's supply and demand for different drugs in, like, GTA 6 online. I think that'd be really cool. And, like, the more players that sell something, maybe, like, it goes up in value or goes down in value. I think that'd be really cool, you know, having something, a feature like that in, like, the next GTA game. Okay, let's sell to him here. How much money are we gonna make on this? Wow! Look at that. You guys see that? I made 10 grand on, on that. I'm gonna make one more trip. I gotta. You know, I'm gonna make a ton on this. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, take this right back to our safe house as well. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see. You found nothing? Nothing? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my- I drove this all the way to Algonquin for nothing? Yeah, you found nothing. Yeah, wonderful. I didn't even realize you could find nothing. I'll hopefully make the trip to Algonquin at least worth something. Okay. okay let's get rid of that Coke right there. 1400. Okay, we'll take those downers too. One more acid trip and then we'll go right back to doing missions. Okay, here we go. Not much of a profit from the downers, at least got something from that. But, acid, yeah. Want that? We'll take the coke too as well. And, um... And we'll just stop at that other dealer. And I think there's one more dealer in this area that sells acid. We go to both of them. And we should be able just to collect a nice, um... Nice quick profit from this. Oh wow, look at this. Wow, he's already got a ton of acid again, okay. Okay. Let's get this over to that dealer in the bo Bohan. Okay, right here. Sell. $7,000 profit, nice. Okay. Okay, let's go, um... Let's go and see, I guess we'll see probably, um, Chan then next. Let's go see him. Counterfeit gangster? Wong, this is outrageous! On the one hand, I'm free, and on the other, I'm having a business I stole in good faith taken away from me. I stole in good faith. The feds are raiding all of my counterfeiting operations. What do you want me to do, blackmail one of them? Threaten to kill someone's family? Chan, if the feds link you to any of that fake merchandise, you're finished. They'll use it to put you away for a hundred years. 
They're not gonna find any fake crap long because you're gonna destroy it all for me. Yes, because I was bored and I really wanted to do a favor for you. Man, I love having you in my life. I'm gonna blog about you when I wake up tomorrow. Destroy Chan's goods, the F... Okay. How do I... Okay. And oh wait, there's a dumpster here too. Uh... Okay, let's go to the uh, next one here. The thing about this is counterfeiting is a very serious crime. And um, uh, counterfeiting is actually a federal crime. That's what people don't know about. The Secret Service, the same people who actually protect the president, those are the people in charge of stopping counterfeiting. And the thing about this is um, uh, what's really unrealistic is that Chan is just a complete idiot and that Sin, the boss, would put somebody like Chan in charge of counterfeiting, you would not do something like that. No, 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 no. The, the boss, like the boss, if, if they're gonna have a counterfeiting operation, especially for when it comes to money, they want to have somebody, somebody in charge that really knows what they're doing. Unless it's, you know, counterfeiting like, you know, fake goods, then it's not that big of a deal. But if it's, um, uh, but I'm assuming this is money, because Huang says they're gonna put you away for life. So it's, um, I mean, if, if, if it's counterfeiting, like, you know, bags and stuff like that, it's still a serious crime, don't get me wrong, but it's not, um, you know, it's not as bad as, like, um, you know, counterfeiting money. And, uh, here's a fact for you guys. Do you guys know where, like, um, uh, where the a vast majority of counterfeit money in America comes from? Do you know where it comes from? A lot of people don't know it's North Korea. That's where a lot of, um, uh, use a crane to dump chance into the water. Oh, okay. Okay. So what I was saying about it is, um, North Korea. Now, a lot of people are surprised by that. They're like, North Korea? What? Like, a lot of people don't know about that. Why does so much counterfeit money come from North Korea? Uh, the reason is because North Korea is essentially a mafia state, and so organized crime has a lot of connections in North Korea. And there's actually a lot of, like, foreign crime organizations that have contacts in the North Korean government. And basically what happens is the North Korean government works with, like, different mafias, like the Triads, I'm sure the Russian mafia as well. Um, they also have connections to the IRA, the Irish Terrorist Organization. So there's, um, uh, they have connections to a lot of criminal, uh, groups. And so what the, um, uh, what the North Koreans do is they basically produce these counterfeit, you know, U.S. dollar bills. They have spies in America oftentimes, too. So North Korea has actually spies in America where they produce counterfeit uh, U.S. dollars. And what they do is they sell that, that counterfeit U.S. dollars to basically benefit, um... Okay. There we go. Let's do that. Okay. They do it to benefit their economy. But, um, also at the same time... What they also do, oh, there's a, okay, a bulldozer, might as well use that. They're also, they're, they're also counterfeiting money to basically, um, uh, destroy the U.S. economy. That's another reason. And so, do you guys remember how in, G remember in GTA 4? In GTA 4, there was a mission where Derek, um, he was a former IRA, um, you know, a uh, member. Derek was actually helping, um, uh, a North Korean spy, Kim, actually get into America with the counterfeit bills. So, Kim was actually a North Korean agent in, um, in, uh, in GTA 4. That's why the IAA, the CIA in GTA 4 wanted Kim dead, uh, for that reason.
And so the IRA has been caught with um, uh, smuggling counterfeit bills before. You can look that up. Look up IRA North Korea connections. You'll find stuff like that. That's what Derek's story was based on, basically. Oh, so that was basically it? Okay, I didn't kill anybody in that mission. Strange one. Okay. Uh, let's go on over and see Heston, then. Oh, emails? Okay, let's see. From Shan Xiaoming, preemptive revenge. Huang, I'm sick and tired of waiting to be boss. Yeah, you shouldn't be boss. My father's just holding me back, probably because he's jealous as I'm so young and beautiful, just like the Greek play Octopus. Well, the party's over. Daddy and I've got eight legs. I know what I have to do to become the boss now. I uh, marry my mom and stab out my own eyes. No, only joking. Come and see me. I'll be at a uh, video again. I've got a really clever p uh, plan. Your boss and best friend and forever, Chan. Uh, you know, the thing is, though, is that friends are supposed to help each other out. And I like how Chan just keeps calling himself Huang's best friend. But, like, when has Chan actually helped Huang out? You know, Huang's just constantly running around as an errand boy doing people favors, and they don't help him with anything. Have any of these guys actually helped him find the sword? No, they haven't helped him find the sword that's been missing. No, they, they haven't bothered. Um, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Pretty big profit of ecstasy to be made there. Okay. probably find a dealer here somewhere anyways. Okay, we got a dealer right here. Let's just hope there's no busts. Wow, I'm, I'm nearing 100,000 already. Wow, look at that. $5,000 profit. Nice, right? Uh, okay, he doesn't really have much to offer here. Okay. What do we got in here? Okay, there we go. Operation Northwood. Oh. Uh, I know what Operation Northwood was in real life, so you got a real lead or do you just want uh, me to do your dirty work? In time, Pong. First, I'm gonna stay ahead of IAD. I'm gonna need to get off the coke, the heroin, and all the other stuff. Only my dealer won't look won't uh, let one of his best customers go so easy. He's got evidence against me uh, going way back, and he's threatening um, he'll hand it over to IAD today unless I keep buying. They've already breathing hard down my neck. This would bury me. Why don't your buddies help you out? All they care about is their cut. Look, you owe me, Huang. IAD would be off my back already if I ha hadn't been for you. I'm not sure how you figured that, that out, my friend. I know it's tough being a cop. You have to give out parking tickets, and, <laughs> and you get sh to shoot people. Boo-hoo. I'll find your dealer and make sure his evidence meets a fitting end. But you clean up your act. You're revolting. Get a fast car so you can follow the dealer, okay? Now, here's the thing. This mission is called Operation Northwood. Um, I wonder why it's called that specifically, but... Operation Northwood, um, I think it was... It was Operation Northwood in real life, too. I'm just, uh... Let me just let me just see if I get I'm getting the operation right. Um, uh, yes, it was. Um, so it was Operation Northwood. So I do have it right. So basically, Operation Northwoods was a real life planned operation that never happened, and it was basically supposed to. It was a CIA plot to basically the CIA was planning on doing a false flag that Cuba attacked the U.S. So it was planning on you know carrying out some kind of false flag attack that the um uh, that. Cuba had attacked the U.S. in the 1960s, by the way. And so the U.S. was going to use that to try to basically remove Castro from power. Um, you know, Cuba was a horrible, you know, totalitarian dictatorship. But, you know, this was a real-life bad operation that the CIA had planned. Um, you know, it was a really bad thing the CIA was planning to do. And um, President JFK Kennedy actually stopped it. So he canceled the whole operation. Um, and there's conspiracies that, that because Kennedy canceled that operation that he was killed for that reason. So that's what Operation Northwoods was. It was basically a CIA plot to, you know, fr uh, frame the Cuban government so that they could um, uh, connect the bomb to the battery and the starter motor. Oh. 
Okay. Flip the switch to arm the bomb. Okay. We're running with a bomb in the car. Um, yeah, probably shouldn't be ramming stuff. There goes Heston's dealer now. Looks like he's in a hurry. And this this dealer is like an idiot. Like, why would he threaten a corrupt cop? That's the thing about that is, um... Like I said, corrupt cops are, you know, will constantly betray people. And they are, you know, they, oftentimes they're, they're worse than the actual gangsters. And so I have no idea why, you know, he would... This dealer is a complete idiot that he's going against a corrupt cop. The corrupt cop's gonna have him killed. I've gotten so much better at the driving in this game. Wow, he's really flooring it, okay. Where the hell are you going? You driving through a park? Uh, it's supposed to be based on St. Patrick's Cathedral, Also, he sees me. Okay, so I can get as close as I can to him, yeah. He sees me. Okay. Let's get this guy. I'm supposed to follow him, right? Just not, um... Where the hell is this guy going? Yeah, I remember this place. This is the college. Can't be going that much farther now. This is very close to that same place where Nico. Where this is this is very close to that same place where Nico actually blew up the Albanian mafia and the Ancelotti's. Get out of the car. Get a safe distance away. Okay. Uh. There we go. Well, Heston owes us big for that, too, there. Hope he comes through, then. Okay. Let's go see Stupid Chan. Okay. From Wade Heston, Vital Statistics. Huang, it's not what you know, it's who you know. My contact in the FBI is going to give us the name of the rat who's selling out the triads. All he wants in return is help on a couple of legally sensitive jobs. See you at the gas station in Lancaster, Heston. So yeah, so, so there is another rat. So it looks like my hunch was right on that. What's going on here? I'm sick of waiting for my stupid father to step down. I should be boss now. Yeah, and if you become boss, the whole thing will fall apart. I can do anything he can. Bigger and better. Definitely. You're the man, homie. <laughs> Did you know he had one of my entourage dealt with? My posse. My crew, I mean. Chan, that fool was bleeding a a about you t to the feds. I know. One's not enough. They're all rats. Everyone I know is worthless. 
They only like me because I'm good-looking, rich, successful, and charismatic. Come on, we'll show them what happens to rats. I told my so-called friends to meet me just south of here. They, there are a lot of bottles back here. How much have you drunk, genius? Not much. Hey. Anyway, I refilled them with gas. I want to make sure my friend's welcome uh, for me is a warm one. We're here. Let's get their attention. Torch those parasites, Huang. Oh. Take out the traitors? Okay. I'm doing it this from my phone, this part, because throwing from the controller is a little bit annoying. Chopper so much. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is actually a pretty fun mission. Okay. Okay. The traders are heading for the dock. Stop them. Okay. Ah, come on, no, no. Are fleeing towards the statue wiped them out? Uh... Oh. Oh god. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack with those rocket launchers, okay. What? Attacking helicopter? No! 
Please let me use a gun. Oh no. Come on. Ah. I think I got him. Okay. Oh, he's coming back. Ton of chaos we just caused, okay. It's hard to find people like you, Guang. People I can trust. Good people you can share a secret with. And then have a threesome with it and, uh, with and not be weird. It wouldn't be weird afterward, Chan. You'd just be dead. <laughs> Whatever. More for me. See you around. I'm gonna write a poem and work up a, a sweat and stand in the rain. Laughing and crying at the same time. Okay, so I guess we will probably leave it off here, guys. Um, thank you guys for, um, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we got a dealer here, too. Uh, buy anything good here? No, he has nothing to offer. Okay, so, um, uh, I guess we'll leave it off here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, do drop a like. I'll have the next part for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys. Like a renegade, hit that guap to the rent is paid. Put pay. my prey in the cavalcade. Revenge is got when the boss is slain. We run these streets like a renegade.